In today's episode, we'll learn how to make a GSM-based water level monitoring and control system using Arduino Nano, GSM 700A module, and HC Dish SR04 ultrasonic sensor. By the way, I have created many videos related to the water level monitoring and control system, in which I have used different technologies to monitor water levels and control water pumps. Wireless water level monitoring using long-range LoRa transceiver modules with the help of this project, water level inside a tank can be monitored with Within a range of 5 kilometers. IoT based water level monitoring and control system using ESP32 Wi Fi plus Bluetooth module, waterproof ultrasonic sensor, and the new Blink V2.0. With the help of this water level monitoring system, you can monitor the water level inside a tank from anywhere in the world. I also made a water level monitoring system using a pressure sensor and displayed the water level information on LEDs. If you are interested in exploring technologies beyond GSM, such as LoRa, and and IoT platforms, I highly recommend watching my previous videos on water level monitoring and control systems. Anyway, let's get back to our project. For the demonstration purposes, I'm going to monitor the water level inside this bucket, which you can think of as the water tank, and you can think of this 110 or 220 volt AC bulb as the water pump. The ultrasonic sensor is right on top of the water tank. Everything is in place and it looks good. So let's go ahead and power up the entire system. As usual, I'm using my designed Arduino and LoRa based development board because I specially designed it for projects like these. You can see I'm not using a separate power supply for the GSM 700A module because my board has this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply which is more than enough to power up the Arduino, GSM and these 5 volt relays. If you don't want to make such a development board then you can also make this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. Anyway, I will add links to all the related videos in the description. When the 110 or 220 volt AC supply is connected, never touch the relay contacts as it can be dangerous. So, as far as possible, wear protective gloves and perform such high voltage experiments in the presence of a companion or someone having basic knowledge of the electrical systems. With the water level in the water tank drops below a certain level, the Arduino starts sending alert messages with the help of GSM module. In the programming, I have utilized a timer to ensure that alert messages are generated every two minutes. Having an alert message every two minutes could indeed be quite annoying. However, it's important to note that this time duration is adjustable and I will explain how to modify it later in this video. We have two options we can turn on the water pump automatically or we can do it manually. In my case, I don't want the water pump to turn on automatically. Anyway, let's write a message to turn on the water pump. ABC123 is a password to add a little bit of security so that nobody else can control the water pump. You can use any combination of letters, characters and numbers. Then the word relay and command on. The person signs are used to separate these parameters. I have already explained this in my GSM based home automation project. Anyway, the message is ready and let's send it to control the water pump. You can see the bulb just turned on which represents a water pump. Now it will stay on until the water tank is filled. You can see the water pump automatically turned off. I've also added another feature that is you can check the water level inside a water tank at any time. All you need is to write a message which consists of a password and the word level. Anyway, before I send this message first, let's remove some water. Now let's send the message and check the level. This is pretty amazing. Let's remove some more water.
with this feature you will never run out of water because you can check the water level at any time and you can turn on the water pump whenever you want you don't need to wait for the water tank to get completely empty let's completely empty the tank and check if you will get the alert message perfect it's working exceptionally well now let's go ahead and take a look at the connections and programming connect the 5 volt txt and rxt pins of the gsm 900 a module to the arduino digital pins d9 and d10 connect the 5 volt and ground pins of the gsm 900 a module to the 5 volt and 3 amps power supply vn and ground the power supply 5 volt and ground are connected to the arduino vn and ground pins connect the vcc and ground pins of the hc dash sr04 ultrasonic sensor to the arduino vn and ground pins connect the trigger and echo pins of the ultrasonic sensor to the arduino d2 and d3 pins respectively connect the vcc and ground wires of the relay module to the 5 volt and ground connect the relay input pin to the arduino digital pin d4 you can follow this circuit diagram the vn and ground wires should be connected to a 5 volt and 3 amps power supply you can follow this circuit diagram if you want to make your own 5 volt and 3 amps power supply now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming i start off by adding the software serial.h header file using the software serial we can define multiple serial ports you know in arduino uno and arduino nano we have only one serial port that is available on pin 0 and 1 as i want to use the arduino's default serial port for the debugging purposes so that's why i defined another serial port for the gsm 900 a module next i defined pins for the trigger echo and relay i also defined some variables for storing the water level value password incoming message and alert message i also defined some variables for the timer Code inside the setup function is exactly the same as explained in my previous GSM based home automation project. So let's go to the loop function. Using the minutes function, we calculate the seconds and minutes. So when the minutes are greater than or equal to 2, we set the zero level flag to false, which signals the Arduino to send an alert message. When the alert message is sent, the zero level flag is again set to true. And this whole process starts again. All these other instructions are from my GSM based home automation project. All these instructions instructions are used to split the string message and store the corresponding values and variables then we use these different parameters for requesting the water level and for controlling the water pump i highly recommend you guys should watch my video on gsm based home automation project anyway that's all for now Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.